Hello everyone, welcome to my new Let's Play, it's Muppet Monster Adventure for the PS1, I'm Sparrow Jonathan, and yes, I've wanted to do this for so long, we're finally starting it now, so yeah, this is going to be very cool, yeah, if you love Sparrow, you'll love this game, that's all I can say, so, so yeah, it's cool, it shows you around here, in the night time, um, yeah, the only other time I've ever done this game on my channel, was on Eurodemo, Eurodemo Future 103, back like in 2013, uh, for a Halloween special. So, yeah, this is a demo here. Oh, this isn't even the music that plays in this level, but, um... Yeah, this is very cool. Um, yeah, in, in the demo it showed the, um, the, the title screen, like, it's daytime like this. Yeah, well, even the skyboxes look or like Sparrow and but yeah you just saw that um, some of it but that's the very first level so I think we'll get into it now and we'll start the game so I think if you keep pressing around here it'll, it'll, continue, it'll continue showing around the level it's, it reminds me of the <laughs> of the uh, Sparrow credits but anyway let's let's start the game now let's start a new game so here we go Going to any of those places. Instead, we're here to run down old castle in the middle of nowhere. Well, I know you're disappointed, Robin, but we had to accompany Dr. Honeydew for the reading of his late uncle's will. It's important to be there for friends at a time like this. Oh, but I have a bad feeling about this, Uncle Kermit. I'm sure there's nothing to be afraid of. What's that? Relax, Robin. It's just a tree. Nothing to be afraid of. <clears throat> Nothing at all. I can't imagine anything living here except things that aren't alive anymore. Now, now, Master Robin. Uncle Peachy had quite a flair for the dramatic, but I assure you we're perfectly safe. Are you all right, Master Robin? <laughs> Wake up again. Oh, what happened? The good news is that you, Beaker, Peppy, and myself are unharmed. Oh, what's the bad news? Unfortunately, your Uncle Kermit, Miss Piggy, and the others have been transformed into hideous monsters. Oh, no! See, oh, yes! We managed to escape, and I found my Uncle Peachy's secret lab. We're safe for now, but the Master's evil energy is permeating the entire village. Everything in the area is rapidly becoming evil, 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 evil. So what are we going to do? I'm so glad you asked me that question, my young friend. Here at Muppet Labs Europe, we have developed some special devices that will help you return our friends to their old selves and save the village to boot. First, this power glove is guaranteed to get even the most stubborn evil out of any monster. Once removed, the evil energy is stored in this clever backpack, lest it get back out into the world again. I must still be dizzy. It sounded like you said I would save everyone. The backpack and glove are designed specifically for the amphibian anatomy. Wow, what a coincidence. Don't worry, you won't be alone in your journey. Beaky and I will monitor your status constantly. But I... It seems you are forgetting someone again. Oh. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Pepe. My apologies. I will take it from here, okay? I, Pepe the King Prom, will be broadcasting from this convenient little transmitter here to tell you how to get around the village. When you see my face, I will have something to say that will help you out. Together, we will save Kermin, okay? Kermin? Your Uncle Kermit. Oh, Uncle Kermit. This is what I said, okay? Kermin. Oh, I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. You can do it, Master Robin. Your uncle and all of our friends need you. Well, I guess I could give it a try. 
Enough with the talking. Get on with the saving, okay? You're a tough frog, okay? You're a brave frog, okay? Get the monster! Get the monster! Go, 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 go! Alright, so as well, cutscenes then. Now starting playing, so you're playing as Robin. Uh, yeah, I thought I always thought that we were playing as Kermit, but yeah. From here, you can access all of the entire worlds, okay? You must, however, have enough evil energy to open some levels, but you also need Muppet tokens to open new worlds for you to explore. Alright then, yeah, when I saw this for the first of the time, this this game. But yeah, these are all the levels in the game you can go to, so we just turn the wheel. If you count all these, it's like 24, I think. So, but yeah, this is the very first level. So, we'll go in there and, yeah, it takes you, to the, takes you through the vortex and we can get there. So, um, so yeah, it's kind of funny, like... You know, I've said before on my channel, if you've been watching my channel for a while, like, you know, I'm always terrified, I'm always terrified and <laughs> scared of puppets, and so. Oh, he doesn't actually save us, he just <laughs> said that. But yeah, so yeah, this is, this is the thumbnail, so, um, uh, you're gonna show it that, there you go, so. Um, we have to do that, and, oh, actually, wait, oh, I've, I've, I've messed up now, haven't I, um. Oops, um, huh? there, there, there we go, now I'm playing it when, no, no, yes, so, yeah, bring up the hood, does that, with the L1 button, um, I'm not sure if the frame rate's good, um, but I'll try and fix it if it ever goes choppy with OBS, because OBS is a pain, but this is the best way I can record it, so. Hola, as promised. I, Pepe, will be on the air to help you rescue Carmen and the rest of our friends. When you see my receiver, come up and hear what I have to say. Don't be shy, okay? <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, we'll check out everything he has to say. Like, I don't know if he will say anything more here now. Hello. Yeah, As he'll only say that. I, but we'll then, the then it just keeps friends. continuing talking. Just so I can, uh, when you see my they do this in Treasure Planet as well. And Stuart Little too. Those were the games that came after this. Now, I, I even said when I was doing like six years ago, when I was doing Treasure Planet, I said I want to do this game, and here we are now, <laughs> six years later in 2021, I'm finally doing it. This game came out like 20 years ago, but yeah. So, oh, we're not showing numbers. I've just realised this. Um, but yeah, they're meant to show numbers. I'm not sure why that. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I don't know if it's a weird emulator thing or... But they were before in the demo screen, but... Yeah. I don't know how much they're worth done. Um, I think the green ones are worth, like, one. Uh, but yeah, I'm pressing R1 to run. Yeah, so... Uh, I mean, I played Stuart Little 2 for the first time. Uh, before this game. Yes, girl, so... I'm all used to that. So I, it's the same controls like as Stuart Little 2 with R1 to run, so that's why I mentioned that, but you have to get these coins, so... Actually, that reminds me, I checked out the demo and this 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 is all different here, you you could um, get up here before, but we can't get here yet. Um, can I can't get up here, so, um, but yeah, it's crazy that we're doing this now, like, this game's very really fun, like, yeah, it's just fun to collect, but yeah, it feels like we're collecting gems, and, well, we're collecting evil energy with stars, that's what it's called, so. This is like Halloween, trick or treat, okay? <laughs> the pumpkin container is filled with evil energy you can collect if you shoot it, or... Just spin attack on it. That's cool, so it feels a bit like Crash Bandicoot as well. Like I actually checked my back of my demo video of this before doing this. Um before recording this tonight. And oh can you actually stand there at the moment? 
I should have checked this all out when I played the demo, but I, for some reason I didn't. Um, we go. Yeah. So you spend like Crush Bandicoot, and so it feels like it's Crush Bandicoot and Sparrow. Um, yeah, I just realized I haven't even talked to him here yet. So now what does he say about this one? Yeah, this, this part's going to be mostly tutorial stuff so far, so yeah, let's see. It only opens if you shoot it. Don't go and spin, you'll just get dizzy again. Oh, okay, so these these helmets, night helmets, are specific for shooting. Yeah, it just spins around if you spin it. So the pumpkins are the only one that you can choose what you want to do with, like baskets in Sparrow. You can charge or flame them, but vases, yeah, it's just like that. And the chests are just like, um, you know, metal, metal chest in Sparrow 1, so, um, yeah. If you collect all of these letters from around the level, it will spell bonus, okay? And something special will happen, okay? Those letters also spell buson and sonub, but I don't know what those words mean, okay? Um, probably other words you can make as well with them. <laughs> I don't know. But that's funny they point out. Yeah, so it's Pepe. Like, give us some puppets. Pumps, <laughs> some puppets. I'm not scared of too much, but... Oh, it's like Miss Piggy. I, I was always scared of Miss Piggy as a kid. So it's actually funny, but... The thing that, you know, is very funny about this game is, uh... You know, it's just like a Sparrow game, and, you know, we've got Sarah Myths Awaken coming out as well. Developed by Cyrene, so yeah, shout out to him. He's doing an amazing job with Saren. That's uh, really inspired by Sparrow as well. So, yeah, I got a few more here. Yeah, I think I just killed the farmer. Um, yeah, it's if you hold them both at the same time, uh, you do that. You know, L2 and R2. Um, so, Yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, themed things, like, yeah, the, the sunflowers have uh, eyes on them as well. Um, but yeah, we need to find more coins to climb them. But yeah, the thing is, once we have all of them, we can do it forever. But yeah, you can't kill these peacocks. But yeah, this, this wasn't the music that played in the um, in the demo, it was just the title screen music, I think. And I think that plays in another level later on. In this full game, so. Water looks nice now. Agua fresca. <laughs> you should jump in and swim around again. All right. Yeah, I think it's funny because um. Uh, oh no, yeah, this this is a difference in the demo. Yeah, these hearts. If you three more Muck Monster amulet pieces, you'll be diving in the deep end again. Yeah. Give those hearts. Yeah, they were, they were like flies instead, so they really changed that. These sound effects sound exactly like Sparrow, so it's the same. I like the walking sound effect here, you can hear it walking on the grass. Yep, yeah, it's all the same sound effects from Sparrow, so yeah, and like in the music later on in this game, uh, yeah. It's, um, you'll hear some sound effect from Sparrow as well. Um, you know, like the stuff that's in Bentley's outpost. Um, okay, well, how do you, oh no, that's, that's him. Yeah, you can see every time you jump, you see, um, him, I've forgotten his name. Oh no, is it, is it Gonzo or, yeah, you see a picture of him. That looked completely different in the placeholder um, of the prototype of this game, like the demo. Yeah, like all the icons of the other Muppets in the top corner of the screen. Um, so, yeah, we got him. Do you only need one more piece of the Were Bear amulet? Oh, okay, well, should we check some stuff around here or like. Oh, yeah, he's gonna talk about the checkpoint, isn't he? Right? So. Okay. This pickup stores your status every time you pick it up again. This means you don't have to keep saving the game. 
When you die and you have more lives left, you will reappear at the point you collected the restart pickup. I have no idea what this means. I just read it again. Uh, alright. So, here they go, choke point. Oh, that looks weird and scary when you do that, but it looks even weirder in the demo. So, okay, go on. Quick all of that. So, yeah, basically, you collect all of them. Like, well, I think you collect most of these coins in this first hole. Um, should I go over this first? Oh, it's, that's, that's funny. It's, it's scary. It's got like googly eyes on the <laughs> on the arrow as well. Um, arrows hanging on. Um, so ah, there we go. Good work, amigo. The waka waka well bear's power to climb is yours, okay? I am certain you'll stay on top of every situation from now on. All oh, right. Oh, he didn't. He didn't even say all that. So what? Uh, yeah, that's that's weird. Be careful when you do that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you read all that, but yeah, that's what you do. So no. Ah, uh, that's very annoying. Like, if that happened to speedrunners, then <laughs> you'd be really sad. Um. Oh, yeah. We also oh, we can we can climb all this now. I think we'll have to backtrack here later on to like. Yeah, that's, that's weird, that's inverted. Um, to do the flying stuff. Hola. So, uh, yeah. Um, I think I'll... Uh, yeah, should I keep going on here first, or... I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, here's another one of them. Julie need two more pieces of the Muck Monster Amulet! Oh, there we go. No, no, just fall here, no, no, oh, just swith all the way down. But yeah, it's controls exactly the same like Strittle 2, so I just copied um, all of the assets from that game. Um, well, no, they copied all of the assets, assets from this game, sorry. And it plays nearly exactly the same, so. Um, but yeah, this, this was like. The much better game though, like Stuart Little 2 wasn't really that good and just felt very lucky. Well, this this game is really great though, so yeah, if, if you've never played this before either, then you'll love it. So, um, but yeah, I don't know which way to go first now. Um, should I maybe, maybe climb that bit? I don't know if you like this one. Places I can go here. So, oh yeah, wait, does he do that automatically or? Oh no, he doesn't. You, you control yourself, but. Yes, so that's weird. He turns into. Oh god, I got her. Turns into werewolf. But yeah, running around downtown, like, with that one makes it feel more faster. And I think if you run and spin, you go really fast. Like,. That's very cool, so... Okay? Alright, so I'll go back down and... This is the end level here, but... Yeah, though, I don't understand why the stars aren't... showing numbers like they do in Sparrow, because they're meant to, so... I think I was testing this out before and that was happening as well, so... Yeah... But it was showing the demo screen, so I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, we yeah, that sound effect is from Croc, isn't it? And like Sparrow and Sparrow Dragonfly as well, and yeah, this game came out the same year as Sparrow 3, by the way, as it said on the um intro screens and all that, 2000. Yep. So yeah, that sound effect that we just heard of the bonus, um it's in Croc Legend of the Gobos, which I'm still currently doing live let's play of that as well, and you know, uh Um Yeah Sparrow Yeah when you got a Gobo, I think. You know, Sparrow when you do Rainbow Speedway, you hear that sound effect as well. I think I was trying to point that out when I was actually doing that as well with Noel on my channel here, so yeah. 
But yeah, you can see we've got 151 right now, so yeah, you can tell how much they're giving. I think the only difference is, I think greens give one and uh, yeah, the reds are worth two, which is actually funny. That's how it was going to be in the original Sparrow 2 prototype. If you thought that prototype footage of that before on YouTube, yeah, the, the, the two, the reds were going to be two. They was going to change that early in development, which was going to be a weird choice because, you know, Sparrow 1 already had it. As, you know, greens were two and bonds were red. Um, so, yeah, I think I think the gold is tan. Um, and blue is yeah, well, yellow or gold, whatever you want to say it as. Um, so, it looks like you could get up here, but no. Um, so, yeah, it's going to feel like playing a spirit game, so... Try standing on one of these super jump pads, okay? In the words of James Brown, get up, get on up, okay? Get up, get on up, okay? <laughs> well, he didn't say the okay part, but uh, you know what I mean, okay? <laughs> okay, always says that. Um, James Brown, is that his song? Um, kind of forgot, but. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of crazy that I'm doing this game on my channel, like, probably. Because, you know, I always wanted to do it. Like, it's funny. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to say. Um... Oh, next level, okay. Okay, yeah, we kind of did a few things at once there, so he didn't finish what he was going to say, but oh, oh well. Um, but yeah, oh, I remembered what I was going to say, and I forgot. Again. Um, but. Yeah, so it's crazy. Oh yeah, so I played this game on the demo on my channel for like that Halloween, 2013, and then, um, and then I played the full game after it. Like I had it on my PSP, so I played it for the first time on that, and um, it was just a fun time. Like I think that was in 2014. I was playing it a lot. So yeah, he's gonna talk about this now. So yeah. And I feel like it can do much of things, okay? From opening doors to changing the world around you. Okay, yeah. Um, so, can need a lot of switches. Um, yeah, so bats are holding them. Oh. Didn't even look like we really, like, did that. I think you can keep doing it. Okay. Can you spin them? No. Um, I want to try and spin it for some reason. Okay, no. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, okay, well, um, are you at this? Why are we not, they're not talking about this, but this is a Muppet token? He's not here to explain this, that's weird. Oh, ah, there we go. I collected all the bonus letters to cut, to get that. It broke the chest, that's very funny, and so that's fine how that happens, well. You can get a bit floaty jumpy sometimes and you need the right momentum. It looks like he doesn't do high jumps, he he jumps very low. Um so Yeah, I already talked about this. Um but yeah, I, I don't know where we're going. We're missing one thing. Um You were missing a missing a thing. Oh this guy's terrifying, oh just cuts you. But I, I can imagine all these being puppets as well, and I know I don't want to know what they would look like in real life as puppets, because, yeah, you know, I'm always scared of puppets, and I always was a kid, and yeah, I was trying to explain that a bit earlier as well. But, yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be a long first part, so this, this the, these levels are quite long, I think, but it's mostly tutorial stuff as well, but you know, just, yeah, might take a while going through this first of all, but you yeah, can't get through there yet, um, but yeah, I, I don't know where I'm missing stuff, um, it must be in the water, yeah, I need to go back to the water now, I think, um, because yeah, do we have, do 
Grab everything, wait. Yeah, did he say this before? Oh, that's, that's good when you quit the dialogue though. Oh no, I don't have all... F I don't have all... I don't have all four of them. So like... So where's the fourth one of that? Oh yeah, so the last... Um... No, no, for that's who... I, I don't know how to say it. I've forgotten how to say it. Like, I think that's in there, isn't it? So... Wait, where is... Um... Yeah... Oh, do I have to do this challenge? I don't know, because I can't reach that yet. Um, okay, I'm kind of confused. What, what I need to do here... Because I need to fly to that bit. Like, you need to press triangle, but I can't right now. Uh, so... I guess I'll just run back. Back up. Um, We'll see what we can do from that. Um, but yeah, you know, also this this is my first like proper recorded let's play in a while um, as well. I'm, I'm not doing this live, I've decided to do things in a different way and go back to the way I used to do it. Um, I just feel like recording this is a better way of doing it. Um, so yeah, I hope that's all good with you all too and yeah. Um, and also I'm doing my prototype ASMR series of Sparrow the Dragon prototype. Um, so we need to get up there. But, yeah, and I'm also finishing up my live let's plays on my channel. We still gotta finish them up, so... Um, okay, this is really weird. Where am I actually going? I don't, like, I should have known what to do. But I, I guess we go along this bridge, but I thought... Let's see if there's there's a token here. A coin. Um although you'll see what happens later with the coins in this game. Like yeah, something interesting happens, but we'll talk more about that later, I think. Um but yeah, we have to do this now. Ready? Okay. On your mark, get set, go, 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 go. Okay, I don't know why I don't know why he uh if you if you've if you forgot your track shoes, um, I don't know why he says something completely different to, you know, what he says. Okay, why it seems like it seems like the frame rate's going choppy, and uh, I'm really sorry about that. I don't want it to go choppy. Um, okay, let's let's try now. But you know what? Let's actually. Uh, oh no! Oh, there we go. Okay, thought my controller stopped working there. I know, let's, let's actually fail it, and then see what, see what he says. Oh, oh, I wanted to see what he said, oh. So, yeah, what, what was he gonna say? Yeah, let, let him get ahead or something, and we'll see what he says. This is sad. You should have beaten him, Robin. Next time you will, okay? Oh, okay, that's, that's all he says. Okay, good to know. Right, now we'll do it for real. Yeah, here we go. Uh, it didn't even give a time. It just started us going right away. Um, does that... Oh, does this help? Spinning and jumping? Mm, probably not. Just I would just keep running normally with R1. Yeah, you do this same kind of thing in Stuart Little too as well. Um, yeah, I've done the demo with that on my channel as well, if, if you, um, if you're wondering on McDonald's demo for years ago as well. It's weird, like, my, con my commentary on my demo desk videos are completely different now, I've completely changed, like, it's so funny that how that's happened. Um, so, oh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, I've gotten a lot more confident in myself and stuff, and... Yeah, I didn't really talk about much in my earlier videos. So it's really interesting, um... Where to go, okay? Hey, hey, hey. You give him the map talking, okay? Alright. So... Yeah, there we go, it's done. Does, um... Like, some effects like that. Oh no, look, it's choppy, like you can tell that it is. So... 
For some reason, yeah, frame skipping does fix it. And also maybe pausing would like it does in the Sparrow prototype as well. For whatever reason that is. Oh, I just jumped down. But yeah, wait, I'll show you that actually. Um the inventory. Oh wait, I think the it's gone choppy right now. I can tell. Okay, I saw a, a screen tearing thing there. But yeah, wait, let's check out the stuff for this. Um yeah, so we're only missing a few more stars. I mean, evil energy, but you know, I'll call it stars as well. So we just need one more Muppet token as well, and but we need the two other um, abilities. And there's only there's only five enemies in the solid and yeah, the coins. Um, so yeah, we're nearly. Uh, well, yeah, it's screen tearing. Yeah, well, it's now it's very choppy again. So um, oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know what, what OBS's deal is. Um, I can never figure that out. But oh, do I have to. I don't know if I can do this now. Or. No, I have to, I have to start the challenge, don't I? Um, but we have, we have three out of four of him. Um. I don't even know what that Muppet is even called, that one, like, the underwater one. What's his, what's his actual name? Like, he's not really a recognisable one. Um, so, yeah, it's really interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, wait, we can't even go through the end of the level yet. We can't go through here, it's locked. Reminds me of, like, the Haunted Towers castle in Sparrow Rock or something. Um... Okay, so, like, do you go in here? So, or like, yeah, but, but where do you actually go from here? Um, Because we don't have him yet, either. Um, as far as I know, like, I've been everywhere. There wasn't another token here. Um, so, this is really weird. Um, yeah, but this is all that's here, the, the guy with the peacock, um, so, yeah, no, we don't, we don't want to do it again. So, um, oh wait, there's, there's, there's something up there that we didn't get, oh, um, oh yeah, I'm sorry this is taking so long from, but, hope it's all going to be good, um, yeah, so I think I have to run back up again. <laughs> There's a lot of going back and forth um, here in this first level. But yeah, it's a good intro introduction level to the first, uh, you know, the first level for the game. Um, but yeah, there's nothing else to do up here. Um, but yeah, I saw something glowing. Um, oh yeah, 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 you look. You can go here. Oh, I didn't go up here for some reason. What the hell? Oh, I bet I bet there's a token here, isn't there? Oh, there is. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Why did I not go here? I didn't. I didn't think of some re uh, some reason. Yeah, here it is. Oh, okay. Um. Ready for some in-depth interview? Mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> Mucky the Muck Monster's swim power will let you run silent, run deep, and explore more underwater, okay? Yeah, I don't get why all this is completely different to uh, what um, it says. Yeah, he was saying stuff completely different. Um, Alright, so you use triangle, so you can press... Uh, it's good to go through or you may not know like a fish with uh, fins. <laughs> so yes, this map meant to be meant to be like a fish then. Um that guy, um but yes, yeah, so the last gumzo one is in here, so you have no Sparotus glide power, okay? Now you can rescue everyone in the village with more on time flights than any superhero, okay? <laughs> oh no, so it took me out of the water now. Great. Oh, it's pretty wings, it's quite a pretty birds. <laughs> or creeper, whichever you prefer. 
Yeah, it's funny, like, you should say us. Oh, when did you go, when did you scroll down, you can't go back up, so... Yeah, sorry if I skipped too much ahead there, or... Yeah, so now we can fly, finally, like, it takes... It takes a while to do that. It's funny, in the demo, like, you can do all this from the get-go, though. You don't have to collect coins. So that's a big difference. I don't know why that is. Um, but yeah, I was trying to swim around in here, and it interrupted me. Oh, I wish it wouldn't do that, but... Okay, well, I get that they're trying to give tutorial stuff, so, you know, the next few levels won't be like this. Like, we'll be able to just quite the stars and collect everything just normally without being interrupted all the time so and tutorial stuff and you know Pepe talking all the time as well so but we just have to get that all out of the way in this first part and then yeah it's gonna be all good from that I love how it's cool how I think Sparrow does the same thing where you know it's growing water going underwater um, so, okay, I'm trying to go over here, and we can't go through here. Oh, now there's a lot of secrets in this game, and, like, you're gonna see, like, it's crazy, like, yeah, and they even show you themselves later on if you get, if you collect enough coins, I believe. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy what they do. Um... Yeah, so I got interrupted here as well, trying to get all the stuff here, so... But yeah, yeah, we'll get into that when we, when we get to it, but... Yeah, there's a lot to look forward to, like... Yeah, I think a lot of you are really going to enjoy this, um... So, hope, hope you are, and... Yeah, well, it's like Monster Zink as well, you do you use the you do the camera like this, in Monster Zink. With L2 and R2, but... Mm, it's kind of hard to control it, but I'm trying to walk around and oh, he only, he only looks to power. So, wait, so I need to, oh, you know what, I need to glide from here. Oh wait, this guy's here. Wait, what was he going to say? Oh yeah, 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 okay. Oh, I didn't know that he stays here. Um, Guess what's good? Oh yeah, what? So now we can do so much more than we could before. Um, so now we can go up like that and then fly. Yeah, the flying is very fun in this game. It just feels uh, satisfying to do that. Uh, oh, do we? I think we have to go into this and then glide from here. Yep. Oh, and then we got on the roof. Right, press the button. That was a cutscene. Oh, there we go, now we can get to the end of the level. Over there, so... Okay, yeah, I can see we've been going, like, nearly 40 minutes now, so... Yeah, sorry for this, for being a long first part, but... Yeah, I hope you're enjoying it, though, and seeing this game, like... I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Ooh, how do you get to that? Oh, do you have to... Oh... Okay, maybe we'll deal with that later. Uh, okay, now we can get here, yes, okay. Here comes the sun, flower. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, go pick daisies. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't say anything else. So. Here comes the sun, yeah. Flower. <laughs> yeah, that that song. The referencing that song. Here comes the sun. Oh, yep. So uh, I love how it just explodes like that. Wait, what happens if you fail it though? Let's let's see. Um, so, oh, it's, it's in the red. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens if you fail at first. And we'll see where that works for that, so. Oh, this is a bummer, Robin. Do you want to go again, okay? Okay, yep, yeah, we'll go again. Well, yeah, just curious, because that's what we always do on my channel. Like, we check out the no dialogue in Moneybags. No dialogue in Sparrowin. <laughs> when you fail it, like, because we're always curious to find out, and, you know, who knows, you might have not have ever heard that before yourself. If you've ever played this game before, so... Yeah. Always cool to always see new stuff in games. So... 
Let's see, you want to get as much other games that you possibly can. Like we always do a spur because you just always want new things, so. Okay, now I can climb this and yeah, so that's Fozzie's ability. Um so good work, Robin. You earned this muppet token again. I think he says this dialogue a lot. Yeah, I always thought that Fuzzy Bear was called like just Fuzzy Bear for some reason. <laughs> like that's a funny thing. But I was always scared of him. Like it's just it's like their eyes. Oh, how would we do it again if they're not even here? That's gonna be interesting. Wait, let's let's see. I said no, but yeah, but um, you can't do that. Look. Yeah, no, they come back, don't they? Okay, but then if I fail it, then uh, three, two, one. Yeah, frame rates are good. Oh, it stops you like that. Um, no, wait, I don't want to go again. Or uh, uh, okay, um, no, I can't. When you do that, you can't save game. When you're in the middle of a challenge, that's weird. But, you know, I'll say no. And the flowers stay gone this time now, so. Yeah, it's all good. So now, I just need to get back. Again. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to edit, like, a lot of stuff out in this, because uh, I'm kind of. I'm, you know, I, I want to do a uh, minimal editing this because like it takes me for ages to do that and so I'm gonna kinda do this in a live stream kind of style, but just record it and uh, upload it. So yeah, I hope that that'll be all good. Um but yeah we've got all the Muppet tokens and B O B O N U S, which actually Croc was originally gonna do that. Speaking of that, um Speaking of Croc again, yeah. That's the way, that's the way Croc was originally gonna do that B O N U S. Like in the in the Croc prototype I was talking about a while ago on my channel. So but yeah, we'll deal with the coins later. There's only five in this whole but it's so 96%. So yeah, where are the rest of the stars? Like there's 13 more. Um we got all the ones in the water, I think. Like yeah. Missing 13 stars, um, so, oh, do you glide from there? Oh, I, oh, I don't know where you glide from. That's good when you start running, it automatically centers the camera. Um, so, do you glide from here, maybe? Yeah, maybe. No, I don't know. Oh, is he gonna reach? Yeah, yeah, wait, hold on. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you do it from there and press the switch. Oh, it breaks that door off. Okay. I had a feeling you went in that. But yeah, I've not played this for myself for a while. Oh, so now I have to run back all the way back again. Yeah, something weird was about. Something different was about the. Geometry here at the very start in the demo because I compared this to the demo. I remember a while ago when I was trying to make the thumbnail for this. Um, and yeah, it was just very different. Um, so I'd love to play like a prototype of this as well, like a proper one. Uh, oh, yeah, but yeah, they're all in the end, aren't they? I bet they're all. Um, in the arm. So it looks you can break this, but no, not here. But oh, you'll see some really sneaky stuff they do in this game later on. Like, you know, we think Sparrow's hard. Oh, it's just wives in here. It's like, yeah, it's the same. It's like wife jars. But yeah, four, five. Yeah, three wife jars to do the same thing. It's like, but five jars. So yeah, you can tell it's, it's really heavily inspired by Sparrow's Realm. I'm scouting. Um, but this is the end of the level, so... But yeah, what what does um, Pepe say here? Uh, 
and I guess, you know, Pepe is not too, too scary, so, like, he, there's not much to him, so. This teleporter thingy will take you to the destination when you stand on it, okay? But what's your rush? There's still a lot to see here. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, for some reason to me, like, yeah, he's not really that scary, and he helps you out in this game. It's weird how Magenta Software do that. That's the developer of this. But, yeah, Magenta Software like to just, they, they do this, they make the, the characters teleport to each place, and yeah. So there's only one checkpoint in this level. But, yeah, he's still talking when we're on him as well, so that's amazing. But yeah, that's it. So we got all the tokens, so, wow, it took a while, but we finally through the first level, so... Yeah, let's, let's continue on. So, yeah, that's that's it. And we yeah, have the roof rock again here. It's just like that. Walks through like Sparrow on scan. So, yeah, just, I, I mean, I can say about. Uh, I can just talk forever about how this game is just like Sparrow. And, well, yeah, that's a great reason why we're doing it. And, yeah, it just makes sense. So, yeah, so there we go. Oh, that's cool. It does that when you get 100%. See you in the next level, um, but yeah, you can't go to this one. You need to collect, oh, you need to collect small stars to do that. So that opens up more levels, so that's great. But yeah, I don't believe you pay anyone in this game. There's no money bags, but there is in Treasure Planet, though. There is the guy who's like money bags to activate elevators, so. But yeah, here we are. So this is the second level. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this first part, and I'll leave it here. So this was Muppet Moms for Adventure Part 1, doing the first half of the game, Peacock, uh, Peacock, uh, Purgatory, I believe, that's how we say it. But yeah, this is level 2, and yeah, we'll do this in the next part next time, so thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, let me know what you thought, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, John, I'm on scan, and that's cool, yeah, and when he's doing NPC, uh, <laughs> when he's doing uh, idle animations, that's the word. He uh, sings the Muppet song and of the Muppet show, so <laughs> it's it's always scary to me when I'm scanned. So it's it's very you know it's funny because this game is you know very Halloween themed and yeah the cutscenes of the game opening cutscenes um yeah scary and well, the tree looked like the tree from Medieval so yeah it's cool how this was on the same demo disc as Medieval as well um. That the, my very first one I ever did on my channel, uh, Euro Demo 103. So it's amazing I'm doing this now. So yeah, hope you all enjoy it once again. I'll be back next time for more. We'll, we'll talk more about more things in the next part. Because I believe I had so much more to say and I just uh, I don't think I said it all. So, but yeah, we'll leave it off here and we'll do this level next part. I've forgotten the name of it now. So oh well, I'll remember when we do the battle. But yeah, really cool music for this game though. And yeah, I kept like the tracks later on in the game so it's gonna be fun to get there so hope you all enjoy it hope you all uh enjoying this too and you'll enjoy it so yeah thanks once again and i'll see you all next time for more so see you all next time goodbye for now <laughs>